Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you are okay. Uh, thank you for wishing me a blessed birthday and a happy solstice. I had a totally, totally wonderful time in Glastonbury. I'm still not very well. Um, I have an ENT appointment on the 1st of July and they're going to see what's kind of going on with me. But the doctors seem to think it's like I've got sinusitis mixed with a eustachian tube dysfunction going on. So I'm still not quite well and that's why the lights are off still. Um, on antibiotics again so we'll see if they can clear it up this time hoping for the best um but if not i've got this ent appointment on the first of july which should be helping so just thank you all for your birthday wishes i had an absolutely amazing time in glastonbury my second home um absolutely incredible really really loved it um and i felt the baby kick for the first time during a womb blessing at the new temple of avalon so it was absolutely amazing it was a really really brilliant time so thank you all for your love your birthday wishes and things like that so what we are going to be doing today is what do you need to know about you and your person now this is always such a good reading for us to do because it really opens up the expanse to what spirit and the cards want to tell you about your person so deck number one and deck number two i want you to pick the deck that you are most drawn to now it's really interesting that uh, Spirit told us to use blue decks for communication with both decks. So deck number one and deck number two. Um, blue decks for the communication between the two of you. Go to the deck you're most drawn to. Um, and from the deck you're most drawn to, feel that heart-centered energy and push it into the deck. Puppy, what are you doing? We're just here, we're doing something, tech number one. Okay, so looking at you and your person and what you need to know about them. She was away at my parents' house. She had an absolutely amazing time. She came back last night and she was exhausted. Tech number one. Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? And or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of the number one. So your person being your person is the person that you are thinking of at the time that we do the reading. So, so you can use one deck for one, one deck for someone else, um, whatever you're specific, who you are specifically thinking about at the time that we do this reading. So what do you need to know about your person? Yeah, I was on the ended up on the tour and you had all this kind of pain and drumming and dancing. We we set an alarm for half one in the morning and we headed up. Yeah, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Not bad for four months pregnant either, I don't think. Okay. What do we need to know about their person? Two three this is really interesting. Okay, so your person is realising the truth of the situation. That's the first thing that's coming forward. They're realising their emotions for you. They're realising their truth and your truth. And there is this kind of very strong energy of, I want to be with you. You are someone that I have a very strong connection with. And we do have a very, very divine connection happening here with the Hierophant and the Four of Wands. Okay, don't creep out with the decks without the eyes. I love my creepy, creepy decks. OK, so you've got this very, very strong spiritual connection and your person is starting to realise that they're starting to realise that this isn't a connection that's just a normal run of the mill Tom, Matt, Jane. They're realising that there is actually a lot deeper connection going on with this. And this is what Spirit are saying when they're saying they're realising the truth of the situation. They're understanding the truth. They are standing in the truth and they are acknowledging it and accepting it. So we have this very strong divine connection happening with you. And what you need to know about your person, despite what their actions might tell you, is that they are sensing that this connection is deeper than what they thought it's deeper than the surface level that they had perhaps initially had in their mind perhaps they've tried to step away from the situation or perhaps it's just been a bit of a difficult time it's been a bit ghosty it's been a bit here or there um but what they have realized in this kind of downtime is that they do have these emotions for the for you they do have these feelings for you and that again that this is a very deep connection they, a lot of your people, even though they're not 100% psychic or spiritual, they do have this perception of perhaps reincarnation or things happening in a previous lifetime. And this energy kind of coming up here as well. They're thinking, like I said, they, they haven't had this connection with anyone else. They haven't had these feelings and these emotions with anyone else. So when it comes to you and these feelings and the stance that they have, there is that strong bond holding you two in place. 
Now it's really interesting over here we have in a line the nine of cups and the nine of swords so we have this kind of walking the fine line between the two worlds with you guys one second your person is like this is really really what i want this is everything i want in my life and with the nine of swords kind of coming up at the same time this is the fear side of things so they're walking between these two cards and they step into energy of love and they step into energy of fear so your person has this very strong connection with you and this is why it can be a little bit here and there, a little bit backwards and forwards. They're walking the fine line between love and fear. Those people that say love and hate are opposites, uh, it's kind of a misconception of the human mind on that. Love and fear are the total opposites and that is what's happening here. Love, the opposite of love is fear. So your person is very kind of trapped between the two worlds, spirit are saying. So they're not really giving you too much at this moment in time. You might feel like it's a, a little bit of a standstill, but they can see the future with you. They can see that this is something that they want to work with. It's just going with their speed, going at their speed, okay? But the Nine of Cups over here, very strong energy, marriage, also with the Four of Wands and the Hierophant. You have marriage over here, very strong connection with you. And I mean on an earthly level as well as a spiritual level, a, a connection of souls, a divine union, spirit I say. It's just we have this fear energy which is kind of blocking it a little bit. It looks like they're going to communicate with you about their fears over all of this and once this communication has happened and they've spoken to you about their fears this is where this progression route can really take place and from that you have your longer term objectives being met things working out for you coming together uh, wanting the same things perhaps handling things in a little bit of a different way but if we we're all the same person everything would be a little bit boring and um, you have this kind of pain coming from the heart but working through this pain that you guys have been experiencing both of you working through that pain shifting yourselves forward moving yourselves forward and with the high priestess over here this is you guys in your power so you will get what you want from this connection you have absolutely everything over here that you will get what you want from that. you'll end up marrying them being committed to them in the connection in the relationship with them this is what you want this is what you will get okay high priestess energy coming up over here uh, really standing in your power okay be in that power energy be be the goddess that you are or god that you are be that energy okay spirit saying really kind of focusing on the present moment so even though you're moving into a future and you can have everything you want with your person, uh, it's really important that you stay in the present moment. The Dalai Lama said, if you look at the past, you have depression. If you focus on the future, you have anxiety. So it's really important to stay in the present moment, to be at peace, okay? And to not panic yourself and to not get that fear energy coming forward, focusing the center of love, okay? Again, love and fear being opposites. We've got things working out with you, your person coming towards you with some form of romantic offer, but also a little bit passionate. You might find that your person talks about sex more than they talk about emotions. Reason for that is because it makes them feel a little bit less vulnerable. But at the end of the day, this is what they want from you. They want this relationship to work out and they're thinking it through. OK, they are thinking it through, but the only the, the block that's happening is this one, the Nine of Swords. Let's see how that block is gonna be overcome because the rest of your cards are really good. How can we overcome this Nine of Swords block? How can we overcome this Nine of Swords block? Yeah. Poppy, what are you doing? How can we overcome this Nine of Swords block? Okay, so patience kind of coming forward first and foremost, which is a word that absolutely everyone loves. It is going to take a little bit of time for this block to pop in. It's going to take a little bit of time for this um, energy to fade away. But you have this bond and this connection going on. Your person might act a little bit more on logic for the time being, but that's okay as well. If they're acting on logic for the time being, it doesn't mean they haven't got these emotions for you. Um, it's just that these fears have got to subside. So the way they'll subside is perhaps your person acting a little bit on logic, which might make you feel a little bit like they're not giving you too much emotional support. Um, but the emotions are there with the page of cups next to them. Okay, so offers of love coming forward, but they're probably going to act on a more logical point of view. So time will be your biggest weapon here. Once this Nine of Swords energy gets diminished, um, you've got this connection moving, bonding, progressing forward. Those of you that have got tarot, I would recommend that you get the Nine of Swords out of a tarot deck, put it upside down and sleep with it under your pillow. 
clear the energy of it all okay because you guys have got fears as well there is that mirroring energy um energetic field spirit is saying a mirroring energetic field um that needs to be cleared between you guys and your your nine of swords energy coming up over here that you have fear over the connection as well but you do both have love and with the two nines coming up with the nine of swords and the nine of um yeah nine of swords and nine of cups which i can't find now but it is here um we have this kind of things getting ready to to come to a, the next chapter okay so you're nearly there you're nearly there of this connection working you're nearly there at things moving forward and there is very strong progression routes you're going to get offers coming in very strong offers of love and of passion and your longer term objectives being met with your person um there is a very strong connection like i said you have this celebration over here and you have the spiritual divine connection between you guys it's going to work out it's going to progress with you guys it's really really positive energy coming up it's just this releasing of the fears and once these fears are released, this situation can move forward. And again, remember, love and fear are opposites. So if you're sitting in fear, remember to try and place that energy back towards love. And the way you'll do that is by focusing on the present moment. Okay, guys, and that is deck number one. I'm sending lots of love to you all. If you need me, drop me a message. I am back now. Um, I don't plan to go away now forever well for a while anyway uh, so if you need me just drop me a message i will speak to you all soon lots of goddess blessings from glastonbury to you all um i'm thinking of you all and have an absolutely blessed wonderful day ciao my beauties okay guys deck number two what do you what do you need to know about your person so your person is the person that you are thinking of right now. Um, obviously, you can use deck number one for one person, deck number two for another. Wherever you want to place your energy, that is your choice. And we work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So think about your person for me. Can we get into your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of deck number two. Thank you for all the birthday wishes and every, all the blessings. We had a wonderful solstice. I'm, I'm still quite poorly um, back on antibiotics and things like that. They've got a, I've got a sinusitis and I've got eustachian tube dysfunction. So I'm a bit shaky. I'm a bit poorly. Um, they think it's some kind of bacterial infection and it's all kind of due to the extra fluids in my body because of pregnancy and it's been really complicated but i managed to get through it i wasn't sure we were actually going to make it the other day uh, but that's why we have the lighting off in this room at the moment because i'm still not quite myself um but hopefully soon i will be so what do you need to know about your person so I'm getting a song, I'm getting, uh, I want to say it was Gabrielle, Dreams Can Come True, do you remember that one from 90s? Dreams can come true, do, 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 I'm in a you. Um, getting that coming forward for five, what do you need to know about your person? This is a very, 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 quite difficult very quite difficult situation with you guys it's been a little bit of a rocky road and not in the really yummy kind of cake way it's been difficult and some of you guys are probably thinking that this has come to a close or that you are debating this situation coming to a close you're worrying about lies you're worrying about deception you're worrying they've let you down they've hurt you there's a lot of pain there's a lot of suffering there is a lot of karmic energy with deck number two now if you haven't done a clearing on your karmic energy it might be worth doing that if you need me, uh, I do do past life readings where we do the karmic clearing. So if you do need one of them, just give me a shout. I'll put all the details in the comments for you. But there is this very, very strong sense of karmic energy coming up with deck number two. OK, we have justice. We have the seven of swords and we have the ten of swords. OK, a lot of heavy energy going on with you guys. You are feeling lost. You are feeling as if they've betrayed you. You are feeling as if they've let you down. You are feeling out of balance with it all. Your mind mind is going 10 to a dozen you're adding you guys are adding two and two and making about 50 over the situation because you're not getting the answers you need from your person they might have gone quiet on you just kind of wandered out of your life and you're really uncertain about what's actually happened what pathway is going down 
And that's where this deception is coming forward because you know your person has these feelings for you, um, but they haven't handled this situation in a very good way. A very spirit is saying loss of judgment, loss of character. There's been a very strong sense of loss happening with you guys. And this, this feeling of, oh, it's over, is it done with, what are we doing? And with justice coming up over the top, complications, okay? A lot of complications. Perhaps some of you guys are having legal battles with your person or there's just a sense of legality going on. Contracts, maybe, maybe on another side of things, you, you haven't quite got to where you need to be and it's a, a karmic contract happening with you guys as well. It's a very, very complicated situation and we need to kind of talk about the pain from that first this is where your heart is hurting this is where the love for you and your person is but there is a pain that is associated with debt number two you are really really struggling now we've got temperance and the hermit coming up so even though we've had this pain and we've had this ouch big ouchies probably quite a few big towers happening with you guys rather than little towers. You've had these big ouchies and now you're going through this period of healing, this little bit of period of downtime. So you're going to be sitting there thinking, well, why haven't they messaged? Why aren't they doing anything? Do they actually love me? Is this real? And this is where this deception kind of coming forward again. And you guys are really internalizing these thought processes. You've got these thoughts coming into your mind. You're thinking it through. Please do not let their actions be a reflection on how you feel feel for yourself okay you've worked very very hard to be the people that you are today so don't let someone's actions make you kind of downward spiral on this this heavy energy of is it me did I do something wrong okay please don't do that the reason why I'm saying that is because at this point in time it's a little bit quiet it's a little bit stagnant you're going to be starting to go through your thought process a lot and that's where you're going to kind of try and come up with a bit of self-blame on it so please don't do that please try and avoid that negative energy impacting on you if you've got a big chunk of hematite or tourmaline, I've got one hanging up here. This one I used when I got divorced and wore it absolutely every single day. Um, anything along these lines that you can wear will just kind of protect your energies a little bit. Hematite I like because it's a mirror. So with this, this crystal over here, this one, like I said, this was one I used when I got divorced. Uh, I haven't got the heart to chuck it. I haven't got the heart to wear it either, but I keep it. So it acts as a mirror. So any kind of negative energy that comes towards you gets impacted and returned back. And it's kind of like that return to sender energy, I said. Tourmaline, on the other hand, it absorbs that negative energy into the crystal and it needs regular cleansing. However, either of those crystals will benefit you at this moment in time as you are going through this period of self-reflection and self-criticism, Spirit are saying. Just be a little bit careful on being too harsh on yourself. There is a very good point on shadow work and soul work, but you do need to be very, very careful and go gentle with yourself with it as well. Please don't push yourselves into these kind of heavier energies. You're all empaths, you're psychics. Gently, easy does it. OK, so we have this period of reflection happening with you and it's really important that you, you stay in your power and see it not as a reflection on you. What's happened? OK, going through this, however, and the situation with you guys. So where we're going with this, even though it looks like it's all a little bit down in the dark, it's all a bit ush, it's been very difficult, it's been very complicated. We have got messages coming forward from you for you. Okay, so we have the page and the knight of pentacles, both suggesting an ink uptake in messaging. So two of wands, the last three cards we have, the two of wands, your person is going to start thinking about you. They, even if it's been a bit quiet, they're going to start thinking about you. And we have this forward focus over here. So thinking about a future with you. From there, they're contemplating dropping you a message. OK, thinking it through, thinking, how are they going to how are you guys going to react? What's actually going to happen if I do drop this message to you? Where are we going to go from it? What's what's going to progress forward? I also feel that some of you guys, this is going to be through the Internet. So more like social media or WhatsApp rather than through a general text message. You might even find that they get a bit drunk and FaceTime you. Something along those lines. Spirit is saying there isn't much thought coming behind this message. So what, what they mean by that is that they are thinking about messaging you and they're going to withheld, withhold withhold from actually doing it. And then out of the blue, they're probably going to drink or be a little bit, uh, feeling a bit vulnerable. And that is where this message is going to come forward from them to you. And with the Knight of Pentacles, you have this offer coming in. And this is a peace offering. 
this is a I miss you how are you can we try again let's see what happens um perhaps I made a really big mistake and I'm missing like I said I'm missing your energy and you have this message coming through from your person towards you. They're thinking about it right now, but because of this heavy energy that's been impacting on both of you, um, at the moment, they're just holding fire on it and they're not doing anything on that. Um, and I just got a song and I never heard of it. And I don't know what it is, but Spirit is saying Spitfire. Okay, so I'll just leave that with you. Well, I'll have to Google it. Um, I'm not going to spend time Googling it whilst I'm in your reading, but I'm hearing the words spit fire, okay? So you've got this, this communication coming forward from your person. Where you are at the moment it is heavy. You do need this little bit of downtime, this little bit of healing time. Emotional healing can often be more, more hard than the physical healing. Um, you know, physical healing we can often sort out with medication and things like that. Emotional healing takes a bit longer. Uh, so you are having this period of emotional healing, but please don't fret about it being over because it is going to come back round. Um, is it going to be positive when it comes back round? That's going to come down to you and what you want from the situation, what you guys are thinking over it all, where you want to go, what pathway you want to head down. Uh, but you have got this uptake and communication coming back towards you like i said probably going to be a little bit sporadic but do know that they are thinking of doing it it's just this heavy energy is still here around you both this heavy energy has to clear first and that's another good reason for you guys to wear the tourmaline another good crystal that spirit are just muttering in my ear is the road across it okay because your road across it is your heart centered energy you can stick it down your bra if you if you wear bras, if not, if you're if you're lab, put it in your pockets. But um, it's a really good energy of taking your heart where it needs to be. Okay, so any of that pain that's been building up, especially with past life karmic energy, um, it will clear that and it will take your heart in a much purer energetic form forward. Okay, so really think about whether you want to get that one as well. For that one, like I said, I would keep it as close to your heart as you possibly can. Um, the tourmaline, the the hematite doesn't really matter, just as long as it's on you. Um, but the road across it really important to kind of wear it near your heart chakra. Okay. Difficult, difficult, difficult times, but you know what? You are remarkable people and you're doing extremely well in such a difficult, heart, hurtful, painful situation. You, ooh, that spirit coming into my energy. You're doing really, really well uh, with regard to the situation and you do have this sense of vulnerability. You do have your walls up a little bit now because you have been hurt, but that's okay as well. You know, don't be too hard on yourself. Go gentle strong strong message from spirit here be gentle to yourselves you're not in a place of shame and, and, and fear and pain raise that vibration up do things you enjoy okay people say oh just swap your mind frame but i know it's very very difficult so the best way to deal with these more negative and heavy emotions is to just distract yourself lots of meditations lots of drinking coffees with your mates lots of seeing people shopping anything that just makes your heart sing a little bit you know dance i always have my headphones on i'm dancing to pagan music all that kind of stuff just keeping that vibration high and this situation will soon let's move it to a positive card at the front will soon shift into your favor okay coming towards you with this offer coming towards you with an offer of peace the spirit is saying the olive branch they will offer you an olive branch and from there you guys can decide what you want okay Ease the pain, go gentle, heal yourself. Lots of meditations will help with that as well. Okay, my beauties, I will speak to you all soon. Lots of goddess blessings your way. If you need me, just drop me a message. All the details are in the comments and I will speak to you soon. Ciao, my beauties. Lots of love.